Hey guys, I am here with another LEGO review. This is the 90th anniversary set 11021. I'm going to review the box later. Um, as you can see, I've stored everything here inside the box. Um, so first off, and I think most importantly, we have several bags of pieces here that are not used in the instructions. Let me come back to those. So for the instructions, we have two booklets. And in the first booklet, we have the duck, house with a car, train, castle, spaceship, Fabuland Pirate Ship and Pharaoh set. And this encompasses the first three bags. Comes with a total of 73 pages, along with pictures introducing the sets. Second book covers the other models. We have Bellevue, City, um, Bionicle, Technic, Ninjago, Friends, Dots for the other three bags that are numbered. This one is 67 pages, 68 if you count the back. Okay, now let's come to the sets, starting with the duck. This was the original Legot set. Um, it was made out of wood and a pull toy. Here we have it out of pretty simple bricks. 2x4s, 2x3s, 2x2s, 2x6, with some train wheels. Those Okay, next we'll come back to the train wheels. Next we have the house and car. Uh, so many of the earlier Lego sets were this simple red roof buildings. Um, and some of the cars were actually out of metal. Not out of bricks, and then later built out of bricks, but the ones with the city plans were often, what looks like metal. I imagine it was metal. It could have been plastic, but I'm pretty sure it was metal. Now let's come back to the train wheels for this train. I think it's from the 60s, so we can find out. It does come with connectors, along with extra connectors, so you can make more but you would be missing wheels without disassembling the duck. Um, for the next one on the list, I believe it is Fabuland. And I will have to say that I do think this set is actually very fabulous. Um, I don't have any Fabuland figures, but I think I'm quite content with this one. I really love this elephant figure. It's very simple could still hold stuff in his hands or in his trunk, but it looks extremely cute. And I actually think this is my favorite and he has a little stand. Okay, I said he can hold things. He can clip onto and carry around the table, but oddly enough, he cannot carry the cup. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, when was that Fabuland set released, should say here. The Fabuland set was from 1981. Oh, so actually it comes after the castle and space. You can see here the train was 1966. So let's say the castle is next. This was set 375 or 6075 also called the um, Wolves Lair Den, though I think it's a castle for the good guys. The name sort of sounds like it was for the bad guys. 
I have the North American version, 6075. Oh, sorry. Next is the Spaceship. So this is Galaxy Explorer, recently redone by Lego. See, it's got an interesting canopy on the underside. This one is built with the studs facing forward. Interesting way to build it. It does look rather blocky from the side. I would say the castle is a little better, but nothing really measures up to the elephant. This was released in 1979. And the castle actually was introduced in 1978 in Europe, but 1981 in North America. So, depending upon which version you have. Next should be the pirate ship, Black Seas Barracuda, which my brother has. I did a review of a ripoff version. This is also quite blocky. All of these are quite blocky, but I do like the way they did the sideways jib. The sails could have been much better, probably. And then next we have the Sphinx. The Pharaoh Sphinx. I also have this set, but have yet to rebuild it. This is quite nice because we get this printed piece after a very long absence of it. And I think the Sphinx also looks very cute. And we have a nice dark blue scorpion, which has not been available since maybe 2014. Then next should be Bellevue. In the year 2000. I thought it was earlier. And this blocky animal I actually don't like so much. I don't really understand what's going on with its mouth there. The Bellevue horses were different but it really didn't look like that. There is a frog here. Let's take a closer look at the actual set. You can see there was a princess and a prince. Maybe there was a frog, but you can see the horse looked rather like a real regular horse. So, not quite sure how they got this design from it, but we have some nice wheels. We also have other connecting pieces, so despite the blocky nature, there are some good pieces in there. Next, we look at Bionicle in the year 2001. So this is, uh, I don't remember his name, Ketu or Artu or something. I didn't have many Bionicles. Um, but you can see here, he does have different hands. One to hold the flame. The other one can hold a few other things. Looks okay, but again, very blocky body here. Little to no articulation. And we have the police center. I do like this little helicopter, which can come off rather easily. This was also a very good set, so I think it was a good choice for them to choose this police station. I do not have the original. I have one of the police stations from the 80s, though. Yeah, next should be this Technic um, backhoe. I like the use of the small shovel here and I think the treads look rather good considering how simple they are. And then next should be Ninjago already from 2013. This one is also a little too blocky in my opinion. The dragon doesn't look terrible, but also not so great. And then Friends. You can see this is one of the Friends, uh, I don't know, apartment buildings or something. This is from 2017. I think the flag on top looks pretty good. And of course, the colors are quite nice, as with many friend sets. And lastly, we have Dots, which I believe is recently retired by Legos, so 
is one of the last dot sets, perhaps. And I would say that this one looks much better than the original uh, pineapple pencil holder, which I had no interest in buying. And yet I think that this pineapple is kind of... you can see it there. It doesn't look terrible, but it's also nothing impressive.